The French artist Édouard Athanosi was born in 1859 in the mountainous and wild Saint-Main de Vaucluse region of southeastern France. This rocky landscape had a deep impact upon his painting, as he depicted this beautiful terrain time and again, dominated by its oaks and blossoming shrubs. Like his father, Athanosi began a career in public service as an administrator in the local government of Avignon, working his way up to the head of the office of Préfet Louvel. Throughout his life, painting was his secret language and an escape from this life of work and dutiful toil. In 1878, Athanasi joined the École de Beaux-Arts Fine Arts School of Avignon under the direction of Pierre Rivelet. The quality of the training he received there, his intense study from life and the antique, resulted in a precise and highly observant technique. The recent discovery of tools and photographs of the artist hidden for a hundred years in the false bottom of a drawer in his house in Les Angles, allow us to understand his practice. Athanasi worked en plein air with a palette, brushes, recently invented tubes of paint, and a frame which enabled him to go out and paint amongst nature. Most of the time he worked with a particular reduced and unchangingly small canvas size, which didn't go above seven by nine and a half inches. He wore a striking felt hat, a th black three-piece suit, and carried his paint box on his belt, as well as the box containing the small pictures attached to a loop. The use of colour in his landscape is also unique and sets them apart from his contemporaries. Unusually, the vast majority of Athanasi's work used oxide paints, which were not particularly practical, tending to bleed as they did onto other colours. The artist did not travel exploring intimacy and depth instead in his local landscape of Les Angles near his home. One of his favourite influences was Corro, and we can see the influence of the neoclassical tradition within his concise, harmoniously laid out compositions. From 1911, Athanasi dedicated himself solely to the small format, which coincided with his retirement from work in the local government office. Now in his 50s, he was free to paint. The time he spent on his art was no longer counted. His small pictures became the pages of a secret diary, a writing from the heart, where he communicated his oneness with nature. Athanasi is an under-recognised artist, and Colmagu's online and physical exhibitions of his miniature landscape paintings this year will bring the artist to greater public recognition, highlighting not only his individual response to nature, but also his unique place alongside the Impressionists. Thank you for listening.